Uh, I have like a thousand, thousand questions. Um, I have an observation. I would imagine if we were to survey everybody here and say, give us your top, what would be your top three most significant, whatever. My experience has been over the years talking to people about milestones or major moments in their life where the divine, they encountered the divine. Yeah. Like, okay, yeah. what were moments in which you thought, okay, this is, this is something other than everything else. This is more. Yes. This is... What's fascinating to me is how many times when you say to people, give me your top three, top four, top five, how many of them are completely outside of explicitly religious contexts. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes it's, oh, I was in a church service, but oftentimes it was in a place in which they had um, disabandoned any sort of notion that this is going to be some sort of Jesus experience. Yeah. So, correct? It's like I was in this place. It was in nature. It was at this place where they had given up all expectations or had no expectations, and that was where they had their moments. Say, say how do you see that? Because yeah. you touched on that again and again. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because we, we, we are, have churches and settings where it's like, come to this setting and meet God, find Jesus here, great things, but the reality is how many times we stumble in yeah, absolutely. To, to, the resu to yeah. divinity, the resurrection, etc., all these other places. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, and I mean, when I, when I did that in verse, you know, neither Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, I mentioned a few other ones, but I mean, one of them is neither Christian nor non-Christian. I mean, the, the Christian position is the, is, the, is the laying down of Christianity. That's, that's the, the ironic thing is we're, 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 uh, Christianity is a religion that critiques religion. I was in this in Geneva, and they had the, the Church of St. Peter, where you know, Calvin preached in the sign of the institution. You know, this is, this is the institution of church. And then at the other end, they had Jer a statue of Jeremiah done by a student of Rodan, turning in shame and disgust from the church. Right? I go, which way do I go? Do I embrace the institution? Do I embrace Jeremiah? There's something wonderful about Christianity. It's, a, it's an institution which critiques itself as an institution. It says the prayer is wonderful, but the prayer is not enough. The, 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 the rituals are great, but they can get in the way. It's like, you know, that the, the, the priest, who, the old priest who would go into the temple every night to pray, and the, the wildest like, cats would always annoy him, so he tied the cat to a tree in order to be able to pray. And he was an old man, so eventually he died, and the disciples continued to tie the cat to the tree every night during prayers. So eventually the cat dies, you know, um, so they purchase a new cat to tie to the tree during <laughs> prayer time. Now, <laughs> After seven generations of cats, the tree falls down. So they plant a new tree to tie the seventh generation of cats to during prayer time. And then finally, the theologians come along and they write learned treaties about the significance of tying cats to trees during prayer. You know, this, is, this is what kind of happens to these things that are supposed to be life-giving. So yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm over. The next icon gathering is called pyrotheology. Um, and we, we what took- kind of, What kind of theology? It's pyrotheology. Pyro, as in fire, pyro theology. Oh, love yeah. it. Oh, was brilliant. Because we took this, a quote from Doretti, Bonaventura Doretti, um, a, a Spanish anarchist. He said, the only church that illuminates is a burning one. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. And we just went, we've got to do an icon on that. And part of it is... Um, <laughs> We're, gonna, we're doing this festival and we're going to have like oil cans and with water and we're going to look as if we're setting fire to the festival. We're just going to be walking around like this with pyro theology written on it and like suits and all on with somebody with a lighter around at the tents. And whenever, whenever someone's doing a talk and they're saying about the fire exits, somebody's going to get up and start pouring petrol all over the, uh, the stage while they're, they're talking about the fire exits, you know. So, but we can, I love that because there's, there's obviously the Doretti side, which is a church, he wants to get rid of the church. But there's also that sense in the Bible that the church should be in flames. You know, this church should be consumed. And, and actually, there's an irony there of what is the church that, that burns? Should it, in one sense, burn down sometimes? Should it burn with fire? And there's this um, ambiguity. I love the ambiguity of it. And uh, yeah, I don't know why I was saying that. So, um, so I, I was saying the, the Christian, non-Christian thing, because yeah, for me, I, you know, I want to create a space, which is, and that's why we meet in a bar, and it's not a closed bar, and it's, it's just we engage in this kind of, this, this, ra this transformance art to try and say, you know, it's not about, you know, name checking, you know, Jesus or something every five minutes. It's about trying to create a space where we can encounter one another and have this radical conversion moment. Um, and for me, it's hard for me to say, but yeah, my first one, and this is why I go really, I go down, you wouldn't believe this, I go down quite well in really conservative colleges. I was in Texas, middle, Dallas, Dallas, right? They've got guns in, in Texas, right? Um, now, I'm Irish, I can dodge bullets, right? But I'm worried, because... 
I'm going to Dallas Christian College. And I thought, oh, it's going to be tough, you know. They're going to tell you know. And, I, and and it just was such. It was the only place I spoke in that whole tour where they brought me out for lunch afterwards. The students, because they were so enraptured by this mm. stuff. Why? Mm. Because. Because conversion is so of such central importance to this, to this community, you know, and, and that's what I'm all about, that when I was 17, not involved in a church or anything like that, I had this moment where my substance changed, mm. you know? Now, this mm. is no, you know, I took drugs, stole cars, and then when I was five, I became a Christian, you know? <laughs> and, and that, that was, but, you know, but, you know, I do, I have to say this, I do go, I was dead, um, mm. and, and then I was alive, and I don't mean mm. that in a religious sense, um, I understand whenever you know the blind guy says, all I know is I was blind and, and now I can see. I don't know who this Jesus is, you know. I, I don't have the intellectual stuff. All I know is I was blind and now I can see. And that's what I'm all about, of going Christianity promises substantive transformation. And you know, most, you know if, if we're lucky, some of it might happen in church, you know. I don't know. <laughs> oh. yeah. I, know, I know I'm a bit optimistic there, but, um, you know, oh. I'm holding out hope.